So what has this got to do with space? Why has it been put in a space unit, all this stuff about projectiles? And it really comes back to Newton's thought experiment. Uh, and he was looking at the idea that if you fire a cannonball, it'll follow a curved trajectory. If we increase the size of the cannon compared to the size of the Earth, then we need to take the account of the fact that the Earth is curved. So when we fire the cannon, it goes a wee bit further. And if we make the cannon even bigger still, in terms of the scale of the Earth, then we can eventually match the curve of the projectile to the curve of the Earth. Now, each particular speed that the projectiles go at has a particular uh, height at which it will match the curvature of the Earth, uh, i.e. it will continuously fall, it's in free fall, it's accelerating constantly, right, and which is causing a change in direction. But its curve matches exactly the curve of the Earth. Now, a lot of people might think that uh, it's weightless. It's not. Okay, the, the weight is what's causing this continuous acceleration, continuous change in direction. If it was weightless, if there was no force, then it would go in a straight line uh, by Newton's first law.